AutoNation uh, beat estimates on uh, both the top and bottom lines for the fourth quarter, concluding a record year for the country's largest auto retailer. Join us now to break down the results. Cheryl Miller, CEO at AutoNation, uh, we just had a surreal discussion about the best minivans, and I apologize. Yes. Um, we also talked yeah. about great CUVs as well, and that's what the customer uh, likes uh, right uh, now. Okay, uh, so um, these are these numbers are, are very good, and. Uh, record for, for the year in general, it, it was helped by the interest rate moves by, by, uh, by the Fed. Absolutely. The customer is in great shape. So you have low unemployment. You had three interest rate cuts. We had all-time record not only for the quarter at $1.74, which was up 71% year over year. That was a gain, a gain of 43 cents. If yes. we back it out, it's still well above expectations. It's still well above expectations. Right. It's the second great quarter in a row. In addition to that, we had an all-time record for the year. So the year was four dollars and ninety-eight cents, up fifteen percent, and the customer's in great shape. Um, it says here used vehicle revenue. You, are you talking? See, 21%. I don't. Twenty-one percent. So uh, yeah, used vehicle gross profit. But you don't use used vehicle, do you? Don't you use pre-owned now it's or nearly something? New or and nearly new. Yeah. It's amazing. So for two thousand nineteen, we had fifty-seven million units. So between new and used in the industry, fifty-seven million. That's about the same that we expect for 2020. So we expect another great year What's in 2020. What's the ratio? Are people buying more used cars? Or they? How does that ratio break down? Definitely a migration. So we've seen a migration from new to nearly new. And so for AutoNation, we anticipated this several years mm -hmm. ago. We built a great brand. We won price and used. And so we're really well positioned. And do you think more people are doing that just because prices have gone up so substantially as there's more and more electronics in cars? And Absolutely. So if you look at the last five years, prices have gone up about 15 percent. So that's a $5,000 increase in that period. So we're definitely seeing a preference to nearly new. So 11 percent gain in revenue for used, but, but actually down 1.3 percent for new. What does that mean for new vehicles? Why, why would that be down for the year? Yeah, so from a new vehicle perspective, we are seeing that price point pressure for customers. Really? But the great okay. thing is we saw strength all across the board in our different sectors. Some great new products coming out and new. So we've got a lot of electrics coming out. We want to talk about that. We've got the that, Porsche yeah. Taycan and different products out there. But also strength in customer financial services. So customer financial services, $1,989, up $130 year over year for the quarter. And, and there are other, uh, I remember Mike and some of the, his last initiatives were broadening the, the, the spectrum beyond just selling cars, right? Are those operations adding to, to the Absolutely. Program? So customer care operations were yeah. great for the quarter, up 4% as well. So you continue to see strength in new, nearly new customer care operations and customer financial So services. you need a, a sort of a something to sell to the electric people because Tesla doesn't go through dealerships. So you need this, this Porsche, uh, you're very excited about the Taycan. I want, there it is. Absolutely. So I had the, an opportunity to drive the Taycan two weeks ago. It's amazing. We have a six month back order of the Taycan. It's definitely going to be a strong competitor to the Tesla. And, and it's faster than a, see a 911 turbo. That's like a $200,000 It's just car. as fast. Yeah, 0. Really 0.2 seconds faster. I drive zero one. I know you drive one as well. well is it like, not a turbo though? Uh, I don't see how so this I is a turbo with a battery. Why do we call this a turbo? For I other? drove the Taycan Turbo yeah. S and yeah. it's within, it's right in the same range as the 911 Turbo S, extremely fast, especially the it's acceleration. Like three seconds or something. It's right? 2.4 seconds, zero to 60. Pin, it'll pin your ears back, Joe. <laughs> I can, you know, I, I can use that. Tesla. It absolutely is. It's but even not faster. Only, not only Porsche, you've got all the other manufacturers coming out with electric, and we see that a lot in the premium luxury space. So you see BMW coming out as well, and you're going to see Mercedes after that. You have heard that, that the battery on the Porsche, because I heard Some that... Some of the studies show that the battery in, in, this new, in this new Porsche is better than the Tesla. Better in what way? Because the range is not as much, is it true? No, not as long, but apparently you can go the faster. The performance is amazing. The performance okay. and your ability to... to sustain the performance to keep driving faster longer that's great yeah faster longer <laughs> absolutely it's faster longer i drove right. i took that out on 95 it was amazingly fast and it sustained i was getting raced by some uh, young kids in the car cheryl thanks for uh yeah. i did man. <laughs> thank you